All right, I bought another comic book collection. This one is a little, little bit different from stuff that we've seen before. All right, guys, I did pick up another collection. Spoiler alert, usually we find out if I bought it or not. Uh, we will talk price. We will talk what was in there. And the reason, I'm going to tell you this way ahead of time, the reason this collection is different from prior ones is because it was almost like a quantity purchase. 99% of the keys were pulled out. I'll explain everything later in the video. First, if you could, you know what to do. Thumbs up, leave a comment subscribe, all that stuff. Of course, follow me across all those social media platforms, especially whatnot, guys. Auctions are coming left and right. Keep an eye out on that. Use the link down in the description. Get $10 off your first purchase on the app. So without further ado, uh, I guess we can get into this. Um, I did get the call. I don't remember how he got my number. I... I'm not sure. I don't remember, but uh, I had to travel all the way down to Queens. So we're getting in the car. We're going down there. We'll look through some short boxes and then talk numbers and talk keys at the end. All right, guys, we are heading out all the way down to Queens to look at a collection and it is freezing outside. Look at this. Look what it says. Three, three freaking degrees. I am not built for cold weather. Three. I got a big ass jacket with me because I think we're going to a storage unit. I'm not 100% certain th look three freaking degrees it's so damn cold it sucks but you gotta do what you gotta do next stop the whitestone bridge all right guys here we are at the whitestone bridge we are crossing into queens right now and lo and behold the temperature has gone up it is now 16 degrees officially shorts and t-shirt weather so uh we're getting close and let's start flipping through some boxes. All right, guys, we got a big batch here of Scotty Young variants. Nothing huge, nothing to write home about, nothing groundbreaking or earth shattering. It's just your typical, not even ratio variants, just B, C covers, whatever they are. Nothing great. You're going to see a lot of this kind of stuff. Nothing ex just extraordinary in here. The good news is... He, he, uh, I don't want to spoil it, but he did end up keeping a lot of his own. He pulled a lot of keys out. So this is just a bulk filler purchase. Some keys we will go over. The cool thing is though, he does have another 25 short boxes of keys and better, more important stuff, but he is keeping it. Uh, maybe someday he'll look to move it and we'll have something to talk about later, later down the line. But if not, Hey, at least we got a collection here to flip through. That's not a bad book. And uh, you could kind of see the time period. This run is not that bad. I think there's a couple minor keys in there. Nothing really worth talking about. It's a four-issue -ish, four miniseries. Scorriers. We've got just a lot of X-Men, a lot of Wolverine, but all from this same time period, right? This is like all the same era. Just, uh, yeah, Death of Wolverine stuff. Yeah, there you go. And we're going to keep going. You guys wanted to see some more to flip through? Well, here we go. We've got some Rick and Morty stuff. I don't think there's really anything worth big bucks for Rick and Morty unless it's like that number one issue when it first came out. We've got some trades here. Nothing special. A lot of different Avengers runs in this collection. You can see to the left, we were pulling stuff out of a storage unit. Um, yeah, look, a lot of Avengers. I mean, no big, 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 big keys, just a few. And again, we will be talking about it later in the video, exactly what bigger books came out. But a lot of this, look, 90s, now you got some 90s stuff mixed in. And some Avengers vs. X-Men. I do think the miniseries was in there. Actually, yeah, I think we're about to flip through. Let's see. Uh, yeah, there you go. So here's the Avengers vs. X-Men, which is probably, it might even be a little bit, there's some variants in there too, a little undervalued. I mean, I think we're going to see some Avengers vs. X-Men on the big screen. It, I, I feel like it's inevitable. We had a Civil War. Why can't we have an Avengers vs. X-Men? We're going to go through one more box here. This, this box was probably the best box in the entire collection. We've got some Miss Marvel, some Marvel Comics Presents. You know, it's all Wolverine. There you go. First Weapon X. 
all Wolverine stuff. And I think we go into some older Avengers. Yeah, there's a little pocket, little pocket of Silver Age Avengers. But uh, there was a, there you go. There's a nice book. We will be talking about this one a little later. And that's that. Yeah. Nothing else in that Avengers run, the volume one really to talk about. I'll switch over to some Batman, some more X-Men, a little bit of Star Wars. He does have a lot of Star Wars that he didn't want to move. So fingers crossed we get to, you know, get an opportunity to buy that and talk about that in the future. And quickly, here is everything that basically came home with me. All right, guys. So you saw some stuff uh, there. We are going to break this down right now. So like I said before, he did pull out the keys. And I mean... 90%. You saw uh, everything I took home was roughly 25 short boxes, somewhere between 25 and 30. I don't remember. I actually had to leave a few there because I couldn't fit them in the car, but it was nothing to write home about. A lot of this collection was complete runs of just miscellaneous titles like Avengers and uh, some X-Men stuff uh, and modern, extremely, extremely modern stuff. There was a little bit of pocket of Silver Age Avengers stuff and one key we will talk about in a few minutes. But other than that, It was basically a reader's collection with the keys pulled out. So let me quickly go through, again, 25 plus short boxes, and there's not a tremendous amount here to talk about, but we will, uh, I'll just break something down for you later. All right, so the first book is Edge of Spider-Verse number two. This is the first appearance of Spider-Gwen, but this is the fifth printing, not the first printing, but the fifth printing. Moving down here, uh, Deadpool, Merc with the Mouth, number seven. This is a third print. I believe this is the first Lady Deadpool. There was a lot of Deadpool in there, but no New Mutants 98, um, which is his first appearance. Amazing Spider-Man, number four, first appearance of Silk. Let me tell you, I have been running into this book left and right and left and right. I don't even know how many copies I have now. Uncanny X-Force, number one variant. Uncanny X-Force is a tremendous, tremendous, tremendous run. A great read. They do have it in omnibus form. He had the complete run here. It's not worth a whole, whole lot as a complete run. I believe it's like 35 issues. But some of these variants we're going to talk about are worth a couple bucks. And he had a a few of them. Uh, The other one was Uncanny X-Force number one. This was a Liefeld variant. So that was another one that was pretty good. Uh, another Uncanny X-Force book. This was number 11, but a variant. And guys, I'm scraping here to find stuff to even talk about. So there was that. Uh, one one big book in there he did have um, was Captain Marvel number 14. Uh, I believe this is the first Kamala Khan, first cameo of Kamala Khan, something like that. Uh, he had a Thor number one. That's that Jane Foster, which, you know, you run into this book left and right too, especially this this time period of collections. Everybody had that Thor. I mean, it was a number one. It was an important book. Uh, now, the, the best, in my opinion, the best thing that he had in this whole collection was a complete run of Thor, God of Thunder, which, of course, number two is the first appearance of Gore. Great read, by the way. Great, great read. Uh, I think it's like well, probably one of Jason Aaron's best best Thor runs. And then Thor God of Thunder Thunder number six, which is actually the origin of Gore as well as a null cameo. Um, And now remember I said earlier that there was a little bit of Silver Age Avengers in there. I mean, very little bit, but one book that was in there was Avengers number 43, Red Guardian. I believe this book's come down significantly in value since the Black Widow movie. They didn't kill him off, but still, are we going to see him again? Maybe, Maybe once? I don't know. And the other one, The biggest book in this entire collection was Avengers 48, first appearance of the Black Knight. Uh, And that's it. 25 plus short boxes, and those were all the books. He did have a stack of slabs, nothing to write home about except Amazing Spider-Man 316 in a 9.2. Again, I think it was closer to 30 short boxes, and that was it. Those were the only keys, the only notable keys, which the great part about working with this individual was he knew this already. He knew that he had pulled the keys. He knew that this was a bulk purchase. He knew that there was very little of 25 short boxes, very little to even talk about. Um, so he wanted to get to a certain price point and he had other things in there. In It was a storage unit worth talking about. So I ended up also picking up 
some sideshow prints. If you guys haven't seen them, they're they, sideshow collectibles put out a whole bunch of different prints, different characters. So I bought a bunch of those as well as two sideshow statues. The first one is a dark Phoenix. Um, I think it's a premium format. And you guys know me, I collect statues, but I don't deal with buying and selling statues, but he really wanted to get to a certain price point And like, I didn't really want the statues. They're big, they're bulky. It's just not my market. It's not the, what I normally deal with. And probably a lot of you guys watching don't do statues too, too much. You might, you might have one or two. So there was that. And the other one, which I might even keep now, I've been thinking about it. I don't know. I'm going back and forth, especially with the new Darth Vader coming out from Sideshow. But the other one was actually a Boba Fett. So those two are nice. Of course, one was already opened and displayed. The Boba Fett, I don't even think was opened. Um, so with all that, 25 short boxes. Now, you know, the goal is always to double up your investment. What did I pay for this entire collection? Again, I think it was 30. I'm saying 25. I think it was close to 30 short boxes. We literally just went over all the big keys, two statues and some prints. I'll give you that five seconds. What do you think I paid for this? Bulk purchase. Five, four, three, two, one. I paid $2,300. Again, always looking to double up. Is there $4,600 here? I don't know if there is, there might be. The good news is, you know, I'm able to maybe take some of those complete runs and move them for maybe a hundred dollars here, $75 there. But, uh, you know, as much as I do, I mostly deal with keys and I bulk out a lot of stuff. This was a major bulk out purchase, but again, he knew what we were, he knew, he knew, I knew everything was pretty much on the table. There was no secrets here. Um, that there was not a significant amount of keys. Now, he does have like three or four New Mutant 98s. He does have uh, some other major keys. I mean, I don't even remember because we were talking about some amazing Spider-Man keys. He does have a bunch of slabs. He's just not looking to sell those. So this was basically, let's let's clear out the storage unit. Let me move all this bulk stuff out. No big deal. I still have all this stuff. You know, he's saying, I still have all the stuff I really care about is at home. So we both, I think, did well here. He, he got... 2300 bucks to clean out his storage unit. Um, and I have something to talk about and some some keys, not quite as many as I would hope to get, but, and, and of all this, the only book I think that I may send to CGC is actually the Avengers 48, which is that Black Knight. And that's not even a guarantee that I'll, I'll do that I don't know if I could find a few more collections and pull some more uh, books from that tier for s submission to CGC. I'll just put it all together and submit it. But if I don't, it probably won't even happen. So that that was it. That was this whole thing. You know, I'm hoping, um, first of all, super nice guy. I don't even know if I said that earlier in the video. Amazingly, ridiculously nice guy. Those are my favorite people to deal with. Nice people, well-grounded, and they know the market. They know what their worth is. They know what they have. Um, easiest people to deal with. And it's great because then we don't, I don't have to like talk about books and values. Instead, I could talk about real life stuff like kids, <laughs> you know, I'm flipping through books. That's always fun. So that's it for this video, guys, you know, fingers crossed. Maybe he decides he wants to move the rest of his stuff and gives me a call. And we have a really crazy, great video to talk about in the future. That's what I'm hoping for. But if it doesn't happen, at least we got this, a few books here or there, maybe some stuff going off to CGC, but probably not. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that thumbs up on the way out. Let me know in a Comment down below. Let me know. $2,300 was a fair, not fair. Uh, too much, too little, spot on. Let me know what you think. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, keep it comics.